Hi there, I'm Ivana Finn. Welcome to Star Wars Next the Old Republic Modded Episode 3. Alright, let's talk to Christian. I just love watching the Pazak players. All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Um. You know what? You seem busy. I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. You're selling your Pazak deck? That's not what you usually hear from a professional gambler. Any reason why? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits gets you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. Ah, Pazak. Another game that I really dislike, but this one you actually do need to do for money, so... Alright, old man. I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Actually, yes. I'd like that free Pazak lesson if you've got time right now. Okay, I'm just gonna click through this. The starter deck has exactly the amount of cards that you need to get started, obviously, so I'll just click all of these cards, put them into my hand, and away we go. Alright, so the cards are drawn automatically at the start of every turn. The cards at the bottom are the ones from our hand. We only have these four throughout the game, and we need to get to 20. Yes, yes. We can find uh, minus cards and plus and minus cards later on in the game, but right now we only have some pluses. Uh, the closer we get to 20, the better. Then we choose to stand. We have a card that will help here to get to 20. Good. Okay, so I do need I just need to do that three times till I win. But I'm gonna end the tutorial there because I dislike it. Nice playing you, old man. Now to win my fortune. Ooh. Hello, Sana. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. You're from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay for my dad. That sounds like any minimum wage job, to be perfectly honest. It doesn't sound like you're very happy here, though. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. From what I've heard, you could always try Pazak. Hey, listen, mind if I ask you a question? The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. That's fair enough. You aren't from Terrace, are you? 
Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. The Sith are hunting for any Republic soldiers who escaped the battle overhead. They even sent a patrol into the Undercity to look for survivors. Wow. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. Exotic appearance? Jurgen, what do you want? What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. If you say so, I don't care much for it. They are something of an acquired taste. But mark my words, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before the Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. I'm not here to rub shoulders with celebrities. Are you certain? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Meet the legends before they were famous. All it would cost you is a small handful of credits. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. It seems a famous band is going to be happy with 20 credits. I don't think so. Kind of scammy running here. You sting me with your words. I merely thought I could offer you the rare opportunity to meet a celebrity before they were famous. But I see you're not interested. That's too bad. They really are charming fellows. Very well then. I hope you enjoy the music. If you change your mind, come speak with me again. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I'm scouring the inner city looking for the Republic escape pods and they reek of the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> nice outfit. You steal those clothes from a bum in the lower city? Oh well, guess you don't have to have good taste in clothes to come and enjoy the music. It's a uniform. A Republic uniform. Come on. But actually, I probably did steal it off of somebody who's dead. Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the sick quarantine, so they've been playing here every night. Talk about a good break for us. Um, they don't sound that great. I wish the off-duty uh, Sith yeah. would stop coming in here for drinks. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck again. the inner city <laughs> looking for the Republic escape pods and they reek at the sewers. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military to get as much time off. And that is a shame. From the military base, did you say? I never would have guessed if you hadn't have said. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Yoon Genda, junior officer first class with the Sith occupation force. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Yoon. And my enemy. I'm actually a little surprised you're <laughs> talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Terrace can't stand us, Sith. They make this a pretty lonely job. Oh, I can understand where they're coming from. But, I mean, a job is still a job. We all do what we have to. Not everybody's going to hold that against you. That's true. People don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. But, you know, they have to make the best of things. That is a very positive attitude. I like it. Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this. But we do what we can to keep our spirits up. I'll bet, just like anyone else, we all need to blow off steam once in a while. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It's pretty lonely at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base. Some of us junior Sith officers are having a party later to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'm sure you already is on the map. That sounds perfect. I'll see you there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our shifts end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Me too. <laughs> anyway, general entry added. I've been invited to a party being given by one of the off-duty Sith officers. Going there might be risky, but it could also get me a step closer to finding Bastila. So according to the directions on my data pad, we're getting together at an apartment on the east side of the north upper city. That's all good. That is all good. Pezak rules, I really don't care about. Okay. 
Off you go, hun. If you can get past me, you can't get past me, I'll move. <laughs> See you later, hun. Oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they added the music room in the back. I come here to relax, not to fight with crowds. Oh. Oh, poor you. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Yeah. To yourself, it's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're Okay, keep so. Them from this I don't think there's anyone really interesting to talk to. Let me to enjoy my drink here. in peace. And I won't die. Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. Talk to her to get my order. Where did you get those clothes? Oh my gosh. A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? <laughs> and who are you? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Talk through your teeth. Why cut. is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. I think you're a bit old to be waiting for Daddy to do things for you, hun. Oh, oh, I so badly want to say that, but... I'm sure there's no need to get upset. Your order's on the way. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Yeah, he was delayed because it was stuck on me. <laughs> Uh huh. For you. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This should be fun. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. And we have nice new view screens Ladies actually. And gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Kufinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again! Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious! As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Two Fingers. Okay, so a taste of what's to come. One thing I do remember from playing this game so many years ago was the mysterious stranger. So that's going to be fun to revisit. It's good to see Marl still around after all these years. He proves this isn't just a young man's game. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Yeah. Not just a man's game. What are you looking at? Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? He says, holding onto his chest. I'm Dead Eye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? So you're on the floor of the dueling chamber? The number five ranked duelist out of how many? Uh, five. But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can, but not many do. <laughs> dueling chambers? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. I might check it out then. Yeah, that's right. Back off. You know better than the challenge, Deadeye Duncan. I will mess you up. Oh, he is asking for it, isn't it? He? he wishes he could mess me up. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? 
I just wanted to speak to you. I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the Alright, so I just need to speak to the hut to get into these matches. And there's... Ooh, there's a f oh, first aid. <laughs> just one med pack, is that it? Honestly, they're so stingy. Betty window's closed. Alright, well... How about a new duelist? 10% of all wages. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Energy suppressors up here. Well, that's good. And a medic droid. <laughs> yeah, I want more than 10%. <laughs> uh. Nope. Yeah, I'll try that again. See if I can actually persuade him to go higher. But I'm not going to go for just 10%. No way. No way. Right, this guy's a Pazak player, so I could play him. But do we even have that many? Oh, I have 103 credits. Oh. And he's arrived as Leave well. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Auto prints? Who are you? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Really? Well, how come you don't hang around with the, uh, the other duelists? I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've been watching these new kids in the ring, but I haven't found anyone worth my notice so far. Still, if someone could beat all these other pretenders, I might give them a shot. Huh. Now, could I ask you some questions? Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing on for it today. I don't want to be mobbed. If that was going to happen, it would have already. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. You sure are, hon. Can you actually see anything on the monitor? No. The monitor is blank because there's nothing actually happening. Okay. That makes sense. Well, let's go back. Oh! Gosh. Now that was one way to exit. <laughs> Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your... On behalf of the new Sith rulers. I am a critical droid programmed to provide information to every... Ah, sweet. Okay. Well, you can tell me about the, the Sith. The new authority here on Talos. They seek to preserve the customs of our world. Also, I am told. More than this, I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Yeah, Taras they're not going to actually let an actual protocol droid tell me how to get out. Except on official sick business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taras Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. I'm May sure I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taras, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, <laughs> I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? You know what that says to me? The Sith don't hold with classism either. I am an employee of the Taras government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? No, I think I'm done. Then if you would excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Yeah, you do that. Okay. We should be okay to um, carry on over to there. I think. I don't think there's anything in these. No. 
Nothing in those barrels. Out of our way, citizen. Our unofficial Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Can't they just say official business, not just not official Sith, Sith, Sith business? Why is everything Sith business? Republic escape Medical facility. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Oh, I remember him. They even gave him a slimy voice just so that you'd know. <laughs> but he's not on the up and up. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you're welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, rat ghoul disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Ooh, that's not nice. No cure. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. Oh, no. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the rat ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Well... Maybe I could get some of that serum for you? I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Stupid or determined, I'll get that serum for you. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, I want to ask you some questions. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? Tell me about Terrace. I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? Uh, upper Terrace is kind of boring, but... The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the lower city. Maybe if more people in the upper city weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the lower city and the undercity. Obviously. Very heavy-handed with that allegory right there. The lower city has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go on. I intend to. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the undercity. Davik? Uh, yeah, what do you know about him? Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. But the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. How do you feel about the Sith? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. Yeah, to be fair, that could just be propaganda. I met some Sith at the uh, cantina and they didn't seem evil to me. I am quite busy maintaining the... Heard anything about Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity? Republic escape pods? I... 
No. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. Wow. Wow. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Damn right you can, hon. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Interesting. I'm surprised you've managed to keep it from everybody. I mean, wouldn't a medical facility be the first place you'd go to? And, you know, keep going to just in case this exact thing happened? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Oh, light side points gained. And a journal entry. Um, Rec Ghoul Serum. Zelka at the Upper City Medical Center is eager to acquire a sample of Rec Ghoul Serum used by the Sith Undercity Patrols. So that's interesting. You're just gonna leave that door open? Really? I don't know, seems like a waste to me. Oh yes, the creepy guy. With the extremely dubious voice. You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghoul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Go on. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm not getting paid. <sighs> oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Yeah, so he's a crime lord? I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women... It's the Teresian dream, right? I mean, it's some idiot's wet dream, sure. Just why does he want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who practically give it away. <laughs> so, why would I give him the cure, then, if he's going to be the one making money and I won't be? You know, I could just tell Zelka that you're aiding Davik. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Sure, sure. No thanks. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. I sincerely doubt that. This early in the game, I won't get how much it's really worth. So... Uh, Gurney, Zelka's assistant, mentioned it might be more profitable if I deliver the serum to Zax in the bounty office in the lower city cantina. But, but, my light side points... Oh. Was that the door going up? 
Yes, it was. I did wonder if he was going to actually close it. Ooh, bounty hunters. Gavik says you missed your last payment. He doesn't like you missing pits. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? Oh, he's gonna make an example of him. No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Yeah. Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness Great. here. Thanks, Karth. All right. Just walk on by. Sure. Let's get this show on the road. Red. Hey, light side points again. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going just to take me, me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. I mean, you're in the upper city. Why don't you have money? Ugh, I don't want to give away my money. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters. I don't. I, I surely I don't have a hundred credits. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Yeah. I'm sure I should. It means. Oh, 50 credits. Ah. Uh, and more 50 credits. Oh, I did have enough. Well. It doesn't matter. I now have even more credits, so. That's good. That was probably a, an opportunity to get more light side points. I don't know. Well, I think I'll end it there. Hope you enjoyed this. I upload three videos a week, so please subscribe and you'll get notified when those go live. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.